Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Emily Rose Journals. This month's theme is one I'm really excited about because I just love the topic. It's going to be royal fashion, namely iconic and beautiful looks from Queen Elizabeth II and Kate Middleton, or I should say Catherine Princess of Wales these days. So the first iconic royal dress that I'm using as decoration on the January title page is the blue tulle dress that Queen Elizabeth II wore when she met Jackie Kennedy in 1961. This dress is a full ball gown style and it has some volume in the bodice and in the skirt which is made up by lines of ruching that run horizontally across the bodice and some sort of swooping ruching that runs across the upper third of the skirt. Now the man who designed this dress is named Norman Hartnell. Norman Hartnell was known to be the Queen's favourite designer and many of her most recognisable looks are down to his talent, including her wedding dress, which she of course wore in 1947, and her coronation gown from 1953. As you can see, I've already cut some of the pages smaller in order to create a notebook within a notebook effect for the whole of January. So in order to really define this effect, I'm adding a border of colour around the edges of each trimmed page. Now the brooch that Queen Elizabeth II wore with this dress is known as Prince Albert's brooch and it was given to Queen Victoria by Prince Albert in 1840, the day before their wedding. And it's been passed down in the royal family since then. So, Queen Elizabeth II, being Queen Victoria's great-great-granddaughter, inherited this brooch and has actually been seen wearing it quite a few times. And then for this quote page, sitting across from the title page, I chose a quote from the designer Norman Hartnell saying, I despise simplicity, it is the negation of all that is beautiful. And I just love how direct and opinionated it is. And then moving on to the monthly spread, so the decoration for this page is going to be one of Kate Middleton's iconic hats, which is by the designer Philip Treacy and Kate wore it to the Royal Ascot in 2019. Kate has worn a lot of hats designed by Philip Treacy, including this one that she wore to Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee celebrations and this beautiful green hat that she wore to Trooping the Colour in 2023. And then here we have a quote by Philip Treacy saying, Elegance is all in the mind of the wearer. So here is Philip Treacy, the man himself, and as an extra bit of trivia, he also designed the iconic Beau Batons hats in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire film. So back to actual functional bullet journaling, this double page spread is my monthly overview for January and the point of it is to at a glance have a full layout of the month and you are able to put any events, reminders, whatever you might want in a simplistic form within this schedule here. And I like to make three goals per month and I give a bit of a designated space that I will write them in and tick them off as when I achieve them. And moving on to my habits page, the dress here is one that Queen Elizabeth II wore during her royal tour of Australia in 1954. I love the outfits that she wore during this time, they are so quintessentially 50s with the cinched waist and the flowing skirts. This green silk dress is also another outfit that she wore during the tour and I just love the whole look that she's going for here. It's easy to remember Queen Elizabeth II in the boxy coat dresses of her older years, but I love seeing photos like this where she has more of a light-hearted and playful essence. The three-stranded pearl necklace that Queen Elizabeth is wearing with the yellow dress is one that was given to her by her father when she was a young girl and she wore the necklace often through the years and it's become a bit of a symbol of how close she had been with her father, King George VI. 
Now I don't know how I managed this but I only gave the necklace two strands so that's a bit of a shame. And again back to actual bullet journaling, so this page is my habit tracking page and this month I am drawing trackers for flossing, tidying, going to the gym and practicing the piano. And another page and another dress. So this is the notes page with another standout look from Kate Middleton. This beautiful, slightly military style green dress was worn by Kate during the 2023 Trooping the Colour. I think the structure and the tailoring on this dress is so beautiful and I love the contrasting stripes of fabric used on the neckline, pockets and cuffs. The designer is Andrew Jen and as far as I can find out this is the only time that he has dressed someone from the royal family. I might I say if you're only going to do it once what a way to do it. With this outfit Kate wore a gold shamrock brooch that was on loan from Cartier and the green of her outfit with the shamrock brooch are all in honour of the fact that Kate is the Colonel of the Irish Guards. And then while that paint dries I continue with drawing out the notes page which really I just keep completely blank. It's for any little thoughts, ideas, to-do lists or little bits of scrapbooking that I want to do here and there. And finally we have got to the weekly spreads and the dress showcased here is a showstopper, you aren't ready for it. This incredible golden dress that Kate Middleton wore to the No Time To Die James Bond premiere in 2021. I just think the whole country stopped when she wore this, it was amazing. Although Kate is always beautifully dressed, she doesn't often go for a full attention stealing show stopping moment, so when she does it is all the more captivating. So this glittering gown was designed by Jenny Packham, who has also dressed Kate Middleton many other times, including when she wore this green dress for a state dinner in Jamaica in 2022, and this beautiful silvery blush dress which was worn to a gala dinner in 2011. I used three shades of metallic paints to try and build up the patterns on this dress, um, so I used a more coppery gold, a more silvery gold and a silver. And as you can see the sequins and the beading seem to radiate outwards from a centre point and they're also very clustered up on the top at the shoulders, so I tried to recreate this as best I could and then the sparkles then become more sparse down the bottom of the gown. Whilst that dries I worked on outlining all of my pages. So I'm doing all of the weeks in January in one Dutch door spread, which might look a bit strange and unstructured at the moment, but as these outlines come together, the pages will be more defined and it makes a bit more sense. I do love a Dutch door spread as it means that just one decoration can be the background for all of the weeks in the month at once, and I find it really saves times and, and it just means that you're set up for the whole month straight away. As with my other quotes, this one also is a relevant quote by the designer Jenny Packham saying your dress speaks for itself. And then just getting these weekly spreads set up is just a matter of drawing out 8 equal boxes in each of these Dutch door pages, giving me one page per day of the week and then a notes page which is one per week. 
I won't bore you by showing every single weekly page drawing out, but here you can see I did the same thing for each one of the four weeks throughout January. And then the finishing touch is drawing out a border for the background of my entire notebook within a notebook effect, which will be the whole of January. So I chose to do kind of a string of beads going around. I was aiming for a bit of a haberdashery clothes, dress making, trimmings effect by doing this. And it just adds a bit more sparkle and interest to each of the pages as it's always on show. And we've made it to the final flip through. Thank you for coming along with me on this journey of appreciation of British iconic royal fashion. I hope that it's been of some interest to you. For me, it was one of the easiest themes to just, once I had thought of it, I thought, yes, I will love this. I found some of my favorite dresses and drew them out and it was so much fun for me. So thank you for humoring me with this and I will see you at the next video.